They called it Omgarok. Victory. Out of arrogance or optimism. They hoped to earn a victory for the Dwarven people by recreating Karadin's research. But the tide was abandoned. The researchers lost. The deep road swallowed Omgarok in the dream of reclaiming our former glory. While the dark spawn ravaged the surface, we sent an expedition to uncover the Taig. My brother was with them. They never returned. I write to you, Warden, because you have accomplished things others have declared impossible. Help me find my brother and bring him home. This is a matter of great sensitivity and I can trust no one but you. Ever your humble servant, Jarek Dace. Thank you again for helping me, Warden. Everyone else had given up. But I couldn't abandon Brogan. He's my brother. I apologize for insisting that you come alone. House Dace does not want the location of Amgarok known to the rest of Orzammar. Hello everyone and welcome to the Golems of Arkmarg. I don't remember how to say that. They said it in the cinematic just then, so I should have remembered. Also, Jarek Dace is a very familiar name. Um, I think... He is the servant of uh, the main character, if you play the uh, the Dwarven Noble Origin. And he's the servant to one of the Hydukans, uh, which is your character. And I've also imported my character from Dragon Age Awakening, who is also basically imported from Origins. It's kind of complicated, but anyways, yeah, it's my character from Awakening. It's my mage, uh, my battle mage. So now here we are with uh, Jarek. He looks a little bit different, that's probably why I don't recognize him. I think the mods I have do not apply to the golems of blah 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 Oh, actually it's right here. Uh, I'm Garak. I'm Garak, there we go. <laughs> so let's see what he has to say for us. Well, it looks like you're being rather secretive about, uh, about Agmagar, Agmarak, Agmagmagrak. It's going to be a running joke. I, I seriously think it's going to be a running joke of me mispronouncing everything, as I usually do. I have trouble with names. Um, I'm Garak. There we go. We'll just say that over and over again and we'll get it. So yes, he's being very secretive about the location of Am Garak. House Day sacrificed many men to discover this place. Any knowledge found here should be ours to do with as we please. Of course, Brogan is my primary concern, but Am Garak hides secrets. Great ones. And are you expecting trouble? An expedition of over 20 men doesn't just disappear. That's true, yes. There's something in there. And I'm guessing it's not friendly. And we're going just to do anything. We'll huh. encounter many darkspawn. Our scouts reported seeing them near Amgarak, but they never attacked. Only observed. Observed, all right. And why exactly did you ask for my help? King Balin told me you were the one to look for. He said if anyone could save Brogan, you could. All right, let's get moving then. Amgarak is not too far ahead. I'm going to take a look at uh, what he is. He's also got a pet. Hello there, Snug the Bronto. Awesome. It's not often that we get uh, characters with pets, so I'm going to take a look at what uh, what's up with him. All right, so he seems to be some sort of uh, rogue warrior sort of thing. He has a Bronto that he can summon. He's got a ridiculous amount of attacks, which I, yes, not familiar with because I didn't play with rogues during any of the campaigns. Uh, and he's also... I noticed that I've imported all of my items from Awakening, like this Quicksilver hat, which has better stats, but if I give it to him, he's going to actually lose his set bonus, which is actually probably pretty good. So I'm going to keep his stuff for now, and, uh, and then we'll take a look at uh, other stuff, right? Okay, so let's actually get moving into the tag, and... Uh, snug. He'll be helping us. Okay. If you say so, I will activate my um, sustains since I have not done that yet. And we'll just go ahead and uh, rock and roll, see what we've got ahead of us. Uneasy. So he's saying something. Okay, a party that's slaughtered. Trigger trap, expert Dwemer runes. Dwemer, Dwarven, sorry. <laughs> Dwemer is um, the Dwarven race in 
in uh, the Elder Scrolls. Okay, so this is just a thing. We just continue on. Oh, some emissary. But you know what we do to emissaries? We do a nice, lovely man clash, like so. Who resist? Oh, wow, he resisted my mana clash. Amazing. And for some reason, I am not able to target him. That's rather annoying. Oh, because I'm in a Crescian prison. So I'm probably dead here. Okay, let's take a look at what he has. Uh, right. Maybe I can stun him. Right. Then as soon as uh, Leoric is out, I'm going to do some stuff. So Leoric is out. And let's start to heal up a little bit. There we go. And let's switch to the emissary and let's try that again. Let's uh, put him in the Crescian prison. And let's put a regeneration on, um, what's his name? Jarek, right? Jarek. Just so that his health gets healed up a little bit. And uh, a rejuvenate as well. So his stamina comes back so that we can kill that that guy faster. Uh, so let's... Yeah, I can't believe my mana clash didn't work. That sucks. Let's just do a hand of winter. And then try to suck this guy's mana. And then melee him. Oh, Jarek, buddy. You are dying. So let's heal him up. I think his Bronto's gone. Yes, and it's on cooldown, so we'll be able to summon it in just a moment. Uh, but we need to be very careful. There we go. Oh, Jared, buddy. Let's actually give him some potions, um, because we don't have any potions on him yet. So let's put some potions on his bar. That's going to be always useful. And we'll do a Mind Blast as well. And we'll heal up Jarek again. Okay, his Bronto is indeed a cast, so I have to be careful about that. And we'll try and kill uh, the remaining guys. Wow. We're trying to watch our health. Jerk is pretty low. I don't want to use a mana potion just yet. You know what? We'll tell him to potion as well again. Since we have an abundance of those. So we'll definitely uh, keep those up. You know, how about we animate dead so that we have... Uh... Oh, Jerk, Jerk, Jerk. You are almost dead. Can you potion again? Okay, that's not enough. Let's potion again. There we go. Oh, that's an alpha. Okay, that's why he's taking so much damage. Right. And this furlock is uh, being business. All right. So that's kind of what happens when you play on Nightmare and you don't really have the tools available to you. Do we have any poisons? I think we do. Let's try that because uh, we haven't used poisons in a long time. Okay, rock salve maybe, right? The uh, physical resistances? Sure, that could work. But uh, let's put some poisons on his weapons first. And then uh, we'll just tell him to potion like crazy. Oh my goodness, this guy is tough. All right, Leoric, let's see what we can do to this alpha, huh? How about it? He wasn't an alpha from what I remember. Oh, Jarek. I really don't want a potion here. We could let Jarek die since we have a lot of, um... Fixer... Yeah, the injury kits, this is what I mean. Oh my god, can you not hit him? One more hit? That's all we need. Okay, there we go. Good job. Men will not have fallen to such a modest number of dark spawn. There's something more sinister here. That was pretty tough. Like I said, they, when we're playing on Nightmare and we don't have a full party, it's a lot tougher, and especially because I've never played rogues before. I've seen anything like this. It's not right. Oh, he detected a trap. So let's um, use him to disarm it. Yeah, it is some black smoke. I don't really know what's up with that. Let's uh, disarm this trap before we die. There we go, trap the sun. Excellent. You know, we forgot also to turn on telekinetic weapons. Usually we have frost weapons on, but because we don't... Okay, I should have saved. I hope I did. I'll just sit here and uh, let the shrieks come to us. Okay, there's more than one, so we'll do a round of winter. And uh, just to take them out one by one. And let's turn on our elemental chaos as well. So that they're all taking some damage. It's going to drain our mana pretty quickly, but I think we'll be able to sustain it. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's turn it off. Okay. Look, the mist is shifting. Oh, I see that. I guess it's directing us into a direction. Okay, let's save and uh, continue. Wish me luck. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit scared. It is pretty difficult right now, uh, but I think we're managing. A runic golem, cool, and an old sack. Alright, let's check this old sack. We got a ton of runes, okay. 
I guess it's uh, kind of telling us maybe you're going to want to use these in the future. Let's take a look at what this quest is. Activate the golem. You came, came across an intact deactivated golem. If you can find it, its controller, you could gain a powerful ally. That's exactly what I want to do. So let's talk to it and see if... Uh, this is one of Carradine's golems. But modified. They must have experimented on existing golems in Ungarok. Maybe they also learned the secret to building new ones. Perhaps. Maybe we'll find something deeper into the caves, yeah? I wonder if this golem is still functional. There might be a control rod somewhere. Okay, let's take a look. There's also an option to talk about um, how Keridan's researches should not be replicated. If you don't remember, Keridan is in Dragon Age Origins. He was a dwarf who crafted golems, and the way they crafted golems was to sacrifice dwarfs and use their souls in the golem, like transfer their souls into the golem. That's what made the golems live. Um, yeah. And there's the control rod. And if, uh, if I know video games, as soon as we can pick it up, yep, we're going to get ambushed by shrieks. Yeah, I saw that coming, definitely. So let's uh, freeze them with elemental chaos, or rather hand winter, and then turn on elemental chaos to do some AoE damage. It doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. It just ticks for... Well, actually, it ticks for 20, which is a modest amount. Okay, let's turn it off so that it doesn't drain any more mana than we need. And we'll continue. There's a rune anvil, but we're gonna take there, this on the table. golem. Is that the control rod for a golem? Yes, it is. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna pick up that control rod. There we go. And we're gonna take a look at what this anvil is as well. Oh, okay. So it is to, it is there to slot in uh, runes. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's uh, put this on chance of paralysis. Uh, spell resistances are always nice. Sure, why not? This is uh, some... Well, ooh, wow, that's awesome. Bunch of resistances and... Uh, well, that's all the runes we have, so we might as well just use them, right? It's not like... Uh, it's not like we really have a choice. So let's go ahead and do that. Runes are always useful. It kind of makes me want to... Uh, get runes from Awakening, but it's too late for that now. There's a marker on the map there. That's the doors to arm the mark. Okay, so they're like deeper in. Okay, let's go activate that golem and see what's up. Hello, golem. This golem will be a great help. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna watch. Maybe the golem is uh, okay. So he's part of our party. Let's take a look at what we ha what he has. Right, some typical golem things. Cleansing aura. That's interesting. Uh, let's see what else he has. Right. seen a golem do that before. Yes, neither, neither have, Jerk. Uh, he seems to have cleansing aura and lightning, which is interesting. Uh, let's see, so he's got some equipment slots, but we can't put anything in it yet, um, so perhaps later. That's cool. Yeah, we get a golem. I'm pretty excited about it. We did get a golem in, uh, in Awakening, or Origins, rather, but I almost never used her shale, um, but she was pretty good at the time. Then we've got this cool golem with chain lightning, and you can throw rocks, and he's got the cleansing for as well. Okay, so some shrieks. I'm gonna check behind this just in case. Oh, these are ghostly shrieks. Where did they go? What the? Warden, did you see where they went? Behind us, it seems. But they were they were ghosts. They were made of blue stuff. So that's a little worrying. But we'll continue on. Hopefully, we won't get flanked. But uh, that probably will happen. What? Someone's here. What is going on? It's super starting weird. to see strange things. I'm not bearing potions, mages running boots. That's okay. I'm comfortable here, Warden. Yes, neither I am, and neither am I. Things are very odd around here, but I guess that's why we're here to try and figure out what's going on. It's a fine thing we've done. I believe that is my character speaking. Which... Okay, I thought we were going to get attacked by those deep stalkers, but apparently not. I'm going to keep saving. I'm kind of a chronic saver. I do remember being in these caves. Um, this is the same model as the caves in Origins, except they removed all of the spider webs, it seems. And this is where we found one of the... Um, I don't remember what his name was, but he was a deranged Whatever's dwarf. Revenants, huh? Amgarok is related to this. And an arcane horror. Jeez. Okay, you know what? Let's take everyone and let's uh, back off. Why? Because, well, I want to let them come to us first. 
let them come around the corner so that uh, we can kind of like flank them and and get them in a line of sight. Okay. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna take Lyric and go back in there. So we've got that Revenant, which I am not too happy about. So let's put that Revenant in a crushing prison. And we'll do a Hand of Winter. Just to deal with these skeletons right now, we'll turn on our Elemental Chaos. There we go, that Revenant did not last very long in the crushing prison, but that's fine. Let's do a Mass Rejuvenation as well, just to get everyone's stamina back up, so that if they want to use it, they can. And let's kill that Revenant. Okay, we are now out of mana. So let's turn off our sustains. Oh, I thought the... Okay, the Revenant is now dead. Okay. Let's back off a little bit. The Arcane Horror was a boss, so I'm going to save. I'm going to wait till we're out of combat, actually. So let's get away from them and get out of combat so I can save again, because I don't want to have to do that fight again. All right, now let's head back in. And see what we can do, huh? There is that Arcane Horror, and that is the only one left. Actually, there's another Ravenous and Graged Corpse, but that should be fine. Uh, don't step in the traps, you guys. That would suck. And here comes a Chain Lightning to all of us, so I do want to be careful. It is an Arcane Horror, so perhaps we can, in fact, do a, a, um, a Mana Clash, which does indeed do quite a lot of damage to him. Okay, we took some damage, so I'm going to approach him just a little bit, and maybe we can put it in a Crushing Prison and do all sorts of uh, business to it, like a uh, Winter, and like a stun, maybe. Yeah, that didn't really do anything, but it's almost dead, so that's nice. There we go. It is now dead. Master Reservoir Rune Expert. Yeah, he, they're just throwing runes at us, which is very welcome, actually. I'm not complaining. <laughs> There's a ghostly figure over there, but I'm going to take a look at what's in this chest first. Actually, it is locked. Insufficient skill. Interesting. What about you, Jerk? Can you maybe open it? Oh, he can. He is a rogue, right? I forgot. That's something I don't use very often. Elemental Coding. Five chambered contain dealing for cold fire. Okay, so it is uh, gives you elements for your weapon. It kills targets that are on very low health. It's giving us a lot of um, a lot of poisons, so I should keep those in mind, just in case for later on. And we're going to save again and follow those ghosts and see where they lead us. I do not know. That's what we're here to find out. This is the door to Angarok. We made it. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to head into Argmarok. I'm still saying it wrong. Angarok. There we go. <laughs> and let's see what's on the other side. Angarok is an old dwarven word that means victory. It doesn't seem to be very victorious anymore. What sort of magic is this? Blast. We'll have to find another exit. Keep your wits about you. Dozens of men have been lost here. I'm not looking to add to that number. Okay. Well, let's uh, find out what's going on. The Harvester. Okay. Are we going to face the Harvester already? Oh, no. That Please. thing wasn't a dwarf or any creature I recognize. I don't like this. Oh, there it's running away. All right. Let's take a look at this blood stain. This is... This is blood. And those are lumps of flesh. I'm afraid of what we'll find here. That was a rather small harvester. Perhaps it gets bigger. I almost expected it to be a lot bigger than that. But yes, like I said, perhaps it does get bigger. Let's take a look at Darwin's journal. Learned of an old laboratory called Amgarok, where a man of Alzamar and a mage of Tevinter tried to recreate Caradan's research. Branca's notes mention Amgarok, although she did not pursue it. What kept her away? The Harvester, perhaps? Okay, it looks like the other passages are blocked off by magic, so the only choice we have is to follow the Harvester down his path, or its path, rather. And, uh, let's see what we find in here. A bunch of sentinels and some ancient signs. 
Some chests locked in magic. Okay, the sentinels are now awake. They are golems. Let's uh, put crush in prison. Oh, jeez. Okay, so they like to throw rocks. They do like to throw rocks. So let's um, do Anna Winter. We are just getting knocked down all the time there. Here comes another one. That one that time actually came from our golem, I do believe. I need to do group heal because everyone's fairly low and that our golem is about to die. So I need to... Wow, well, we're just getting knocked the fuck around. This is not fun. Okay, let's try and revive the golem if we can. Okay, there we go. And uh, heal him up. Heal him up, please. Okay. Let's turn on our stuff as much as we can. Okay, we are just getting tossed around. This is... We're dead. And everyone's dead. What is going on? Jeez. Wow, we got wrecked. Okay. <laughs> that was not fun. Let's try again. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take Jarek and I'm going to trigger those sentinels and then we'll get those sentinels to come at me. So we're going to go towards the chests again. And we're going to leave. Okay, I expected that to happen, but he was aiming in the other direction. Are you serious? What the fuck is that? Yes. I mean, come on. That's not fair. Just getting pummeled like that. I'm sorry, Jarek. I did not mean that to happen. Okay, let's kill these guys now. So, crushing prison. Except we can't do jack shit because they keep stunning us, which is super annoying. And of course he's going to resist all of my spells and stuff. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Okay, let's heal ourselves up. Oh, now there's a bunch of watchers, watchers coming. Great. Uh, we're kind of screwed, I think. Yeah. Hmm. It's stunned. There we go. That didn't do anything. Our golem's dead. Let's Lyrian Potion. If we can, please. Come on, Lyrian Potion. And let's revive the golem if we can. And then we'll take a potion ourselves. So that we can uh, heal back up. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's potion... Or heal up the golem. He, I don't think the golem can drink potions, so... What? I guess they healed up. That's not cool. Um, all of our spells are on cooldown here. So let's try and kill this one. Oh gosh, I don't know how to handle this. They're all just throwing rocks and being douchebags. It's not fun. So <laughs> let's put a um, life for it if we can and we'll do a group heal. Oh my god. You guys, this is annoying. We, we're not able to do a group heal because they knocked us down. And the golem's dead. And I think we're just gonna, yeah, we're just dead again because constant crowd control. I'm just gonna sit here and... Wow, they're missing! Okay, wow. They missed like three or four shots in a row there. Hmm. How are you supposed to do this? Okay, let's all like just stack in here probably. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. Except those dudes are just sitting out there. Come on, you guys. Do something. Oh my god. They're not doing anything. And we're just getting constantly knocked down. And we're dead. How the fudge are you supposed to do this? This is ridiculous. Wow. I don't understand. Okay, well, I tried to get them to come to us, but they killed Valdrick and... Or Jarek and... It kills us. If we run in there, we're all dead. I just don't know what to do here. Huh. <sighs> well, let's try and um, do the same thing again, but... Let's use the Bronto instead. It's probably a dumb idea. Uh, and they're really resistant to damage as well, so it's just kind of annoying. So, but they start, they start in their alcoves, so, yeah. Okay, I was wondering if the Bronco was going to trigger them, but nope. And the Bronco's fast, and he's actually immune to knockdown. Oh, okay. Are they coming? Okay, so we've got a few that are coming now. Actually, they're all coming, so that didn't actually work out as, th as I thought it would. Oh, well. 
Okay, let's turn on this. Let's turn on that. Wow. Yeah, we're just knocked down, knocked down, knocked down. How are you supposed to do this? Maybe we should all focus on one? Yeah, here comes another knockdown. Let's do a group heal if we can. Guys, focus on one. Oh, oh, I have force field as well. We should put one in the force field. Except they resisted. What a bunch of douchebags. Okay. Uh, let's resurrect our golem. Come on, buddy. Resurrect him. Hurry up. And now we're just knocked down. Well, we killed one of them. That's kind of an cop. Wow. Fuck. Three rocks in our face and we're dead. And Jarek doesn't can't really do anything here. What is this? This isn't fair. Like they just throw rocks at you all the time and you get knocked down and you can't do anything. I don't know how, what to do. Maybe we have some sort of traps or something that we can use. That would probably help, but no, we don't have any traps. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. This is just not fair. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. I buffed my guys with some potions and... Let's just try to walk in there and see what we can do. Oh shit, they're on hold position. That was a mistake. Oops. So let's crush in prison and then we'll just nuke them. Yeah, there's one rock, two rocks, three rocks, and we're dead. Yep. And now we're dead. Okay, well, wow, that's... Oh shit, he's really slow. Yeah, that's because I gave him some, like, rock, rock potion. Come on. One rock, two rocks, three rocks, and we're dead. I just don't get it. Oh my god. Yep. That happened again. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. Uh, I respect my character because uh, there's a little combo you can do with Tempest and Blizzard. So we're gonna take our Runic Golem, who is apparently the tankiest. We're gonna tell everyone to stop holding position. And we're gonna try this again. Apparently I'm not a very good player, but uh, hey, I do what I can, right? So we're gonna stay here in this hallway. Tell everyone to hold position. We're gonna grab the golem. We're gonna try and trigger those golems. Hello? Hi? Okay, so they've triggered them and we're gonna run away. We're gonna take the golem and make him sit right there. So we're gonna take our mage. Oops, uh, we took that AoE there. And then we'll put... wait for the... Okay, yeah, we're just taking rocks. That's not good. Okay, so now we're gonna put that one in the force field. If I can stop getting fucking knocked down by rocks. Okay, let's try again. So, force field, please. Force field. And then we'll do uh, the crazy blizzard. Except we're gonna stand in it, so that's not good. We don't want that to happen. Oh shit, they're getting through. What? They're not supposed to get through. Okay, well, let's try. Blizzard and the Tempest at the same time. Come on, you can do it. And we'll just uh, try and sit there and watch what happens. Uh, yeah, I can't really do anything here other than uh, watch them take damage, but it's not gonna be enough, so we're gonna turn on our Shimmering Shield and we're gonna run away. And then we're gonna heal ourselves up a little bit. That probably was a really big failure, yeah. What? <laughs> they barely took any damage, oh my god. That failed horribly. Um, Hey there, buddy. Just turn this on. It's our shimmering shield to uh, try and protect us from damage. And let's try and stun them. Yeah, except we're just taking tons of damage here. Alright, and we're dead. Okay, we'll try that again, because I messed up there, I think. That didn't work out exactly to plan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this game is... Uh, well, this module is a lot tougher than, uh, than everything. So, 
let's grab everyone again. A runic golem, that is. We're gonna grab Lyric as well, and we're gonna bring him closer. The other ones don't really do anything because they don't have ranged weapons. Actually, we can give uh, Jerix uh, a bow, I think. So let's try that if we can. Yeah, we'll give him a bow. Let's make him switch weapons. Give him a bow, give him a little bit of arrows, whatever we have. And um, we'll just make him sit there. Sit right here. And then with Lyric, we'll get Lyric to sit right here as well. We'll save the game to save this position. And then we'll try and trigger those guys again. So we'll do the same thing. Hey guys. Okay, and we'll sit there. Hello. Uh, they're not supposed to get through, so okay. Whip. Let's switch back to Leoric. Let's put our golem in a force field. And let's uh, put on our things. They're not supposed to get through and they're not supposed to shoot that. What the fudge? They interrupted me. Oh gosh. Let's try this again. This time let's not get hit. Did I mess up my Tempest? Oh my gosh, I did, didn't I? Okay, here we go. Let's try the Blizzard as well. Okay. That barely didn't do it. That barely worked. Uh, let's try and put this guy in a crushing prison. And then our dude back in a force field if we can. So let's try that. Force field. Oh geez, he took a lot of damage there, but that's fine. We can heal him up. And uh, let's try and kill this guy while we're at it. Uh, here. And then we'll do some uh, frozen stuff. Oh, come on, dude. Don't do this to me. This is not funny. Let's heal him up again. And uh, let's put rejuvenation on him. Let's try and kill the watcher there. Okay, uh, Jerk, can you maybe switch weapons and then attack? Okay, he's already switched weapons. Let's attack the watcher right here. And let's get his beast as well to attack the watcher that's still alive. How's everyone doing? Not, not very good. So let's heal up. And uh, we'll just sit here and try and kill this guy. Oh, come on. Is that not enough? Okay, now the golem's taking damage, so let's heal him up. And let's give him a bunch of stuff. And we're gonna get... Yeah, we're gonna get hit there. Come on, one watcher. Can we kill it? Oh, the golem's gonna die. Shit. Let's force field him. Aha, we did it. Jerk, can you maybe help out here? Okay. Uh, let's do a group heal. These guys hurt so much. It's not even funny. Okay. Oh shit. No, no, Jarek. Stand back. And, uh, Leoric, you're gonna try and want to do the Tempest thing again. Why not here? And then just get the hell out. And, uh, we'll try and heal up the golem. Actually, the golem... That one. Oh, did we miss the Tempest again? I walked away before it went off, didn't it? Yeah, shit. Alright, uh, Jarek, let's switch weapons. What is your oh, the Golem's gonna die here, so I need to heal him up. He's dead. Okay, maybe I can revive him now? Let's, let's try that. Yeah, okay. That's fine, Jarek. Try and walk away, try and walk away, just sit there. And uh, how's the golem? The golem's still alive, so we're gonna go switch to Leoric. We're gonna pot. We're gonna put it back in a force field. Okay, well, they're going after us now, so that actually is not, not a good idea. Uh, okay, let's pot again. Can we not pot? Oh, that's not good. Turn this on. Uh, you're gonna die. Remove whole position. Okay, let's try and stun them if we can. Nope, they're gonna stun us, of course. Come on, buddy, you can do this, I believe in you. Oh my god, there comes the rock. Shit, 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 shit. Heal up, heal up. Heal up. Okay. The auric unit, heal up as well. And there comes his, like, AoE smash thing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there goes another rock. Heal up. Get up and heal. I can't do anything because I keep getting knocked down and, and it's very aggravating. Come on, kill the sentinel. Okay. Let's try and kill this one. Can we turn on our stuff, please? Okay. Oh, our golem's alive and he's gonna smash. Yes! Come on, do it. Do it. I believe in you. Mind blast. 
he's gonna stun us instead. The golem's gonna die here soon. So I need to put a thingy on him. Jerk, you need to heal. There we go, potion. He's gonna do a lightning bolt. Is that all of them? Oh my god, did we actually do it? <sighs> I'm going to save. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Even with the tactic that's uh, supposedly going to work, it was very tough. Oh my gosh, I don't want to do that again, right? <laughs> but apparently there's other rooms that have more golems in them, so that's going to suck. But that's an interesting combo. There's a rune anvil. These signs say don't, uh, don't taunt the golems, basically, and don't disturb them. We do have a rune anvil here, so we can uh, start to give ourselves a little bit more uh, damage on our weapons. And uh, we also got some more runes to give ourselves power. So that's good. So we're going to save and continue on and see what we can do. Okay, these are all like ghost chests that we can't do anything with. But there's a chest on the other side over here. Oh, I still can't believe I did that. Uh, wow. Bleh, gross. This is, this is very difficult. Way more difficult than any other... Um, Him. Can't That's my brother. Now. Okay, weird. Yeah, this is way harder than any other. Oh. oh. Okay, I thought it, the game broke. With him? This magic, this light. I can't even touch him. He looks like a ghost. Broken. Brother, can you hear me? Some sort of surfacer curse? He's here. I can see him. He's still alive. I don't know what's going on, yes. But uh, we'll find out what's going on. Something happened to him. So let's find out. I hope you're right, Warden. I'm not leaving this place without him. I'm going to save you, little brother. Just hold on. I'm not here. I'm not here. Okay. Let's uh, keep going and uh, hope for the best. There's the harvester again. Okay. I think we're being followed. To be quiet. There's another magically sealed door. Some pile of bones. Looks like whoever this is was torn limb from limb. You don't say. Okay, let's take a look at Darian's journal as well. The switches divert the lyrium streams, causing unpredictable effects. They can alter the very environment. It must be magic, but our understanding of such things is limited. Just... Ah! Shit. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, and they're all elites as well. Hmm. Well, let's just crush in prison and do our combo. Oh, gosh. Um, I think it's time for a retreat, my friends. Let's get out of here. Up, 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 and uh, out. I think we can grab our golem as well and, and try and... Uh... Okay, so we're going to sit here. Hold position. Where's Leoric? I don't know. He's right here. Okay. So we're going to maybe put a force field on Snap Bonto. And we're going to try our silly uh, little combo again with the Tempest. If I can position it correctly. I would like to, so that we don't hit ourselves. But uh, yeah, let's grab that, and then the Jarek will go over here and uh, attack that phantasm right here. Maybe stun him as well while Lyric is doing his business. And we'll turn on the other one as well, the, uh, the frost one. Blizzard, there we go. And we'll just uh, get the golem to do stuff. So. Ah, he's gonna die, so... Well, he's out of mana, so I can't actually give him a life ward. Come on, life ward. Okay. Oh, shit. Everyone's dying here. Jarek, you might want to heal up. Okay, good. And, uh, well, I don't know what else to do here. Uh, pot again. And, uh, you yeah, know, the golem's dead. It's fine. We'll revive it. We can revive it if I can uh, angle my camera correctly. And we'll do that. Right there. Uh, come on, can you do this? Uh, our healer is out of mana, so we can't do anything. And they're warriors, so I can't do a mana clash or anything along those lines. 
Hmm. Everyone's taking a ton of damage and I can't really do anything about it. The Varric, you might want to heal. But I think he has death mark so he can't heal. No, he's just taking more damage, that's all. And uh, we'll try and heal this golem here. But I can't guarantee anything. Come on, maybe I can... Um, yeah, snuck the Bronco. Maybe I can force field snuck the Bronco again. So that they're all attacking snuck the Bronco. Uh, Jerk, please go and attack that Phantasm Shadow here. And Leoric, we're gonna wait until his uh, stuff is back up, so that you know, he keeps disappearing, which is kind of annoying. And uh, wait for the Tempest to come back online, and we'll actually zoom out, and we'll do this Tempest again. If we can cast it, that'd be fantastic. Okay, there we go. It's working, uh, and it's the guys are taking a little bits of damage, like little pot shots. Here we go, and let's uh, shoot that guy if we can. Leoric, I should have given him a staff because he's a melee person. And so, oh, there we go. Looks like the Bronco is back up. So, hmm, I'm not too fond of what's going on here. Let's Lyrium Potion and maybe we can put that guy in a force field. I think we're being affected. Yeah, we're being affected by like a flanking shot. And uh, let's try and kill the warrior actually. Let's get in there. And uh, it's probably a bad idea, but hey. Oh, let's actually run away. Jarek, maybe you can switch to some better weapons here and uh, attack the warrior, flank him maybe even. And uh, Leoric will do some things here. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly. Maybe some draining aura, right? Yeah, let's put on draining aura. Let's use a big giant potion of, of lyrium just so that we have enough uh, mana to do things and we'll just attack him. I do want to kill that crossbowman though. I'm not too happy with that crossbowman, so we'll put that crossbowman in a force field. And uh, we'll attack the... come on. The Bronco was in the way there. <laughs> let's do a group heal. Uh, let's turn off uh, hold position so that everyone attacks. And uh, we'll just try and nuke this guy down. I think it's gonna work. I just have to be very careful here. Okay, looks like the crossbowman is still up. But we're gonna try and focus on this phantasm warrior just to, nuke, to try and um, nuke him down as best as we can here. Oh, come on, Jerk, don't die. Uh, maybe you can use a potion, that would be, fun. That would be nice. And I'm gonna sit here and uh, try and kill this guy, except I'm missing with my weapons a lot, so that's not good. Oh, come on, you can do this. I believe, I believe! Okay, one more Phantasm. Come on, you can do this. Well, I am terrible with my weapon. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, good, we did it. Does the golem get any injuries? No, he doesn't. That's that's useful. That's good. Can't help you now. Can't help you now. Oh. Whew, that was rough. I'm gonna save again. That combo seems to be quite good. The tempest, um, tempest blizzard thing. All right. Yep, he's repeating his dialogue. All right. I did want to go check out what this tattered note up here was in the chest as well. Tattered note. Let's take a look. Ancient writings. Let's take a look at this. I know it's scribbled on old parchment paper. Very little reigns of Keridan's writings. The memories say the Paragons destroyed much of his own research. What might, what madness would drive him to do such a thing? King Valtor preserved what he could. Thanks to him, we have something to work from. Narada, my mage colleague, believes that delirium is the key. And let's see what's in this chest. An elemental grenade. Right, I should probably use those. Um, it's funny because this module seems to be making me use a bunch of things that I never used before. Which uh, is a little annoying, but I guess that's what you need to do to succeed, right? Let's take a look at the map. And uh, there's the harvester again. And uh, there might be a bunch of uh, crazy bullshit again in this next room, so let's save. And uh, let's see what we have to deal with. Did you, did you see that? It had hands and a face. Should we head towards the pile of corpses, or should we head up north? I want to check out what's over here. Okay, it's just a door that's uh, locked by Lyrium, it seems. Here. Yeah, something weird is going on. Pile of corpses. Know these men. They, they look like they were ripped apart. Ancestors, what happened here? It looks like we're going to loop back around to the entrance. I saw that big glowing orb thing. And that orb is uh, was at the beginning. It was blocked off by magic. So let's uh, take a look. 
Lyrium well and a switch. Okay, let's walk in here and be very careful. What is that? It's huge. It just looks like a lyrium bomb or something. Wait, don't click on that yet. Let's take a look at the sign. Lyrium in lyrium wells, not personal, not for personal consumption. Okay, <laughs> and let's take uh, Jarek and open that chest. Greater Tome of the Mortal Vessel. Those are two respect your character. I already used one already. Um, yeah. Okay, that's a big lyrium bomb. Very well. Lyrium wells, not for personal consumption. Okay. And it just uh, drops all the way down here. So it is a lyrium well. Interesting. Okay, let me save again. I'm very, very paranoid. This uh, this is getting pretty hard. Did you see that creature? It can't have just disappeared. It'll probably escaped through that crevice. Yep. Oh, and now the switch is available to click on. So... I have a feeling that it's gonna, like, trigger some things in the world. So let's save and click on that and see what happens.